you don't have to read your experience, your qualifications and the training. Um, you can go straight to the contents as per paragraph 13. Paragraph 3. Sorry, D, you say D or B? Uh, B, my lord. Don't you just stay copy there because we've got the same problem. It's a, it's a five page document. Five page document. Yes. It's in the small. <coughs> yeah, the, in the X um, bundle, my lord. The X bundle, just, the bigger yes. one. No, 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 the, the smaller one. Okay. So, or if the court can just give me this exhibit that I've just handed up, I'll just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're at part four, and this video is specific, only, only exclusive to the contents of the evidence bags that um, Colonel Mangena received, okay, as the ballistic expert working on this case. So I've seen in my previous videos, you guys keep commenting, but the evidence bag was open, but the evidence bag was open. I need to see clarity on that. So I, I, I didn't know where that was coming from because yesterday I actually edited this out, took this out. But since you guys keep bringing back up that the evidence bag was open, then my question becomes, how do you know the evidence bag was open? I must be missing something. So let me know. Let me know um, why you're saying the evidence bag was open. Because during this, during his af and his affidavit, he gives the evidence bag numbers. And he, every time he says the evidence bag was sealed. Of course, there's a difference between saying the evidence bag was sealed and, and the evidence bag being actually sealed. So uh, let me know. Let me know. I might be missing something. I might be missing something. So uh, let me know at which point. Of course, of course, we are all in agreement. His entire affidavit, his entire testimony is about what? A pistol. Um, is about a pistol. But the eyewitnesses or the occupants of the house, the Kumalos and friends, are saying it was a gun with a wheel. So my question to you therefore becomes, how tall is Long Retwala? I want to see something. How tall is Long Retwala? How tall was Senzo Um, Yeah, those are the two questions I have that are still outstanding. Let's listen on and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Yes, may proceed to, to read the contents of paragraph 3 in the record. Right, on paragraph 3, is, on the 13th of November 2014, during the performance of my official duties, I received two sealed evidence bags with numbers PA4000384031. And PA five triple zero three four two seven one five J from case administration of the ballistic section containing the following exhibits. The evidence back with number, I think point of correction, it ends up with an I. I. Okay. The evidence back with number PA four triple zero three eight four zero three four I contains the following one nine millimeter parabellum calibre P Barretta model ninety two FS compact. It's a single end double action semi automatic pistol with serial number BER190037 and two magazines, a black holster, and firearm license. Uh, Colonel, we'll later get to the chain of custody, but in short, whose firearm is this that you are looking at? My Lord, I do not know whose firearm is this. Oh my goodness, this is confusing. Whose firearm is this? Colonel, uh, Colonel Mangena responds and says, I do not know whose firearm is this, but he just literally just gave us a serial number of the gun. And he also gave us the firearm license. Maybe, maybe, you know, as a layman, I don't know what a firearm a license contains. Does it not contain who is licensed for the firearm? And also the serial number, are you not able to check and know whose gun it is if the gun is registered? I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what is going on and why did he say he doesn't know. I thought that was an interesting fact, but you know what? I decided let me let me comment on this before I forget later on, because we all know the digressing be coming for me. All right, let me know in the comment section down below. Proceed. In paragraph three point two, I've received from the same bag six nine millimeter parabellum caliber cartridges or rounds. And in the second evidence bag with number PA5000342715, 
one five Juliet containing a seal bag with number PA five double zero one four double nine two one zero containing this small bag was inside the big one. And inside that one was three point three point one, which is one spent bullet fragment of undetermined caliber and marked it two one seven two six seven slash fourteen A one. Right, the second seal bag which was inside that bag was seal bag with number PA five double zero two zero eight double seven eight two containing one spent nine millimeter caliber bullet and I marked it two one seven two six seven slash fourteen A two. So now the, the bullet fragment mentioned is paragraph three point three point one and the bullet mentioned in three point four point one, where they where do they originate from? I received them in this field bag, I think from the crime scene. Because I only received them in this bag from Yes. Yes, you may proceed. You may proceed to yes, paragraph Lord, four. Thank you. Yes, my Lord, this seal bag with number PA five triple zero three four two seven one five Juliet. It was brought to the lab by Constable Musia. Yes, paragraph four. The intention and scope of the forensic examination comprises of the following firearm mechanism examination and microscopic individualization of fired bullets. At paragraph 5, I examined and tested the pistol mentioned in 3.1 and found the pistol mentioned in 3.1 functions normally without any obvious defects. Ammunition used for test purposes marked 037 TC1 and 037 TC2, which were marked on the cartridge cases, and 037 TB1 and 037 TB, supposed to be TB2. Not see, it's a typing error. TB2. TB2. Not six. Not six. Okay. It's a typing error there, my Typing error, okay. On the bullet, and we're fired in the pistol mentioned in 3.1. Okay. What we did here, my lord, is we take the firearm that we have received, we get two rounds of ammunition, mm -hmm. and I'll mark the cartridge case, this part of the cartridge case, with the last three digits of the serial number of that. And then TC1, it will be test cartridge one, and then the second one will be test cartridge two. And then I'll mark the bullets here, with the last three digits again is. 037 TB1, which is T test bullet one, and the second one will be test bullet two. And then I'll take the two rounds of ammunition and the firearm to the shooting tank. I'll shoot the test with it and then obtain the bullets and the cartridge case for comparison purposes. And after shooting the test, or well, on examination of the firearm, myself, I examined and tested the mechanism of the pistol machining and found it to be self loading but not capable of discharging more than one shot with a single depression of the trigger. I also found that the devices were manufactured or designed to discharge center fire ammunition. Right. I compared the individual and class characteristic marking transfer to the bullet mentioned at the, in 3. Point, or the test bullet or transfer to the bullets mentioned in 3.4.1 and 5.2, which is the test by firearm components during the firing process using a microscopic compar comparison microscope and found the following. The bullet mentioned in 3.4.1 was not fired in the pistol mentioned in 3.1. Right, the bullet fragments that we have received, because of the damage, we cannot compare it with the test fired. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't test this one, I'll compare this one to the fire. Mm -hmm. And then the bullet that I have received, the bullet from that I have received, I compare it with the test that I have fired. Mm -hmm. What you'll do is on your microscope, you'll put your exhibit on your left hand side, your test on the right hand side. You start rotating them. When you look through the eyepiece, you can see both items at the same time. What you'll do is it's like you matching them, you start looking at the striations caused by the barrel of the firearm, you match these triations until where you can find the matching striations of it. Mm -hmm. Then we'll say they were fired in the fire, same firearm. Mm -hmm. In this instance, you find that the width of the groove on the test bullets and the width on the grooves on the exhibit bullets differs a lot. There's no matching of the class characteristics or, mm -hmm. or the individual markings. So I concluded by saying that this bullet was not fired in this firearm. Yeah. Can you just explain what are striations? Oops. <laughs> just for record purposes. <laughs> the striations are the lines or the grooves and inside the grooves you'll find the lines created by the firearm barrel when the bullet travels or passes through the barrel because I said the bullet is a little bit bigger in diameter so all the striations which are inside the barrel of the firearm will be imprinted on or will be scratched on your bullets then we compare that if you take the firearm you fire maybe two three shots inside it the striations on the same all the three bullets will be exactly the same will match and we'll, that's why we'll find the match. Unless in the instances where 
like in this instance, you take the CMJ bullets, you want to compare it with the FMJ. FMJ is a hard bullet. It will pick up most of the marks. The CMJ, because it's a soft bullet, instead of picking up the marks, instead it will, uh, it will shrink a little bit. Some of the marks might not be clearly visible on the CMJ bullets. Okay, so I did not hear him say he had an open evidence bag, but, 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 I do realize that this could be further on when he now receives accused number three's alleged um, ammunition, alleged gun and ammunition, okay, after he's arrested. Because keep in mind, this evidence right now where he's at, he's only on the 13th of November 2014, okay, when he received two sealed evidence bags, okay, and those two sealed evidence bags are from who? From Mosia. You remember Mosia? You guys know I have issues with Messiah because that was a contaminated crime scene and he arrived and he was just so star shocked and mesmerized that, hey, this is Kelly Kumalo. So for me, his performance was tainted by the fact that why are they still in the house? Why did you let them stay in the house, sir? Why did you not kick them out? I mean, Kelly Kumalo had a whole other place to go where she lived with Usenzo Meyua at the time. So I just don't understand what they were doing in the house why why they had to be there you know what i digress so let's go back to these two sealed evidence bags that he says he received from messia in the lab okay so in the bag what was in the bag ladies and gentlemen was um a pistol a nine millimeter parabella caliber pistol okay i'm not a gun expert so I, i'm just saying this as i hear it however i think he's saying it okay and that pistol had a reference number and there were also two magazines one firearm and a black holster that's pretty interesting for me so if that is coming from messiah but no gun was found at the scene where was this all found or is this a test bag so the gun that he should use to test but then why wouldn't he just use a gun that's in the lab because this is the ballistic expert he should have like every type of gun in there I don't know. Maybe I'm over-processing this, but for me, bag number pa 4000384034 i where's that bag coming from? Because no gun was found at the crime scene. And also no one was arrested when Senzo Meyua was um, murdered. Or oh, is that Chico Twala's gun? I don't know. I'm thinking as I go. Look at me flying the plane as I go. Whose firearm is this? Anyway, let's keep going. The second bag, what does it have? Oh no, the first bag, that same bag also had six times, um, so six nine millimeter para parabella cartridge rounds. Okay, okay. Then the second bag, the second evidence bag, which was sealed, he says it was sealed, okay? And it was brought to him by Constable Masia. He was a constable at that time. Guys, I did several videos of Masia. Uh, if I don't have them in a separate playlist, I'm going to link it up here and you guys can go back to that evidence and then check the evidence bags. Okay. Who's going to take on that task? I feel somebody needs to take on that task to go listen to those videos and come back and tell us if the evidence bag numbers are matching. <laughs> There's some homework for the members of the jury of the unfiltered family, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. So he says in that bag was one spent bullet, the fragment um, the fragment of an undetermined caliber. So they don't know which gun it came out of. Okay. Okay. Got it. And then the second one was a nine millimeter caliber bullet. Again, it's a spent bullet. Both those bullets are spent bullets. So one was the bullet that was softly found that had a soft landing. I just saw a comment actually. Let me read it. Uh, these bullets, these bullets. Let me find that comment. I thought it was hilarious. Because it's, it's only in South Africa, man. It's only in South Africa. This comment says, the bullet loosely lose, the bullet losing power to land decently, okay? And comfortably. Never heard of such. Let's hear it from the other ballistic expert. Yeah, we want to hear the other ballistic expert tell us and confirm if bullets can do a soft landing and land nice and cutely after they've done a U-turn. Because this bullet did a U-turn as well. Like, it's a boomerang. That's another comment I got. You guys are hilarious. 
that this bullet was a boomerang like it went outside and then it came back inside because the door was slightly opened and then it hit the door a little bit and then it landed because it didn't have speed anymore it landed on the counter between the glasses but none of the glasses you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i would have loved i would have loved if they shared the photos of all this yes yes not the photos of the deceased senzo meiwa um, def definitely not those photos, but the photos of this crime scene. I would have loved if they shared that. And I'm going to check um, if, if I have those. Or those are just re... What is it called? Reenactments? I can't remember the word right now. If those are just reimagined. <laughs> I can't find the word. I've lost my words, but you know what? Let me continue on. Let me continue on. So then he says, okay, so I, he's take now, he's doing his job, okay? His job where he's got the diploma and it's been to the FBI and they've taught him how to do this. And he says now he has to do the firearm mechanism examination and also microscopic individualization of the fire bullet. Okay, of the fired bullet. Okay, okay. So he puts the bullet, so he goes to shoot those test bullets and he has two test bullets, TB1 and TB2. He fires them, okay, in the drum. Is it called a drum? Is it called a drum? Yeah, so he fires them inside the drum. And then inside the drum, then he gets the result. And then he takes his test bullets, test bullet one, test bullet two. And he compares it with the fragments, okay? The, the spent bullets, the ones that came from the crime scene that Messiah brought. Okay, okay. Now, there's a problem. What's the problem, you wonder? One of them is so damaged, he said he couldn't um, assess what's going on with that one. The second one did not, the second one he's able to determine was not fired from this gun that he has, the pistol that he has. And the, how is he able to prove that? Because, you know, well, we now know we're not gun experts but from his explanation a bullet is bigger than the barrel so when the powder and the gas are ignited they force the bullet into the barrel so even though it's bigger the bullet because of that pressure and that force because this is me explaining physics i cannot believe this where is my physics teacher to hear me <laughs> okay okay i digress so takes the bullet because it's now under so much pressure it can squeeze through it can even though it's bigger it can now squeeze through the barrel and because of that motion and friction then there are lines that are drawn i would say on the bullet going through that barrel and that is how they're able to tell that this bullet came out of this gun because they're matching it with those lines within the barrel does that make sense are you with me drop a one in the comment section down below if you are picking up this scientific conversation that i'm putting to you okay so uh, that's what he says so so far this is where we're at so like i said i want to keep this video short but look at it now it's growing long i want to keep this video short because i just wanted to bring to your attention that hey the bag is sealed the two bags are sealed later on we'll discover if we find this unsealed bag so more videos are still coming so make sure you subscribe if you've made it this far in the video please remember to like comment and subscribe you absolutely have my heart thanks for watching all the ads Turn on your notifications because we this class is still in session because tomorrow Mangena enters the building. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload.